Hello, welcome brothers and sisters in Christ, friends and everybody who watches this program and who wants to know more about the Bible. Welcome to this program and uh, today I'm announcing a new Bible study program which will transform your uh, view about the Bible and equip you to stand up against the vials of the devil and the false prophets which are uh, been you know all over the earth. So this one is very 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 important. Please pay attention and uh, we are going to see the man of God versus the false prophet. It is found in the book of uh, 1 Kings chapter 13, which I'm going to put the audio. Please listen carefully and um, uh, try to answer those questions who I'm going to provide you. And uh, the, the questions are, this is a very extensive study, which will uh, be helpful for you to know the word of God and also to guard yourself against the vials of the devil, the evil spirits, and those uh, the false prophets, including the prophet Muhammad. So now in the book, uh, this one, I will put the audio, which is from Family Radio by the late brother Hendrik Van Dyke. Uh, you can go and listen the whole audio Bible. And uh, I'm going to put the audio. Please listen carefully. And as you listen and ask yourself uh, uh, some, some, some uh, very, very crucial questions. The first one is, who was the man of God? Who was the man of God? And who was the old prophet? What's the problem with the old prophet? Was the old prophet the, uh, also the prophet of God or was he a false prophet? And what was the fundamental mistake the man of God made? And what happened because of that uh, mistake that he made? So what do we learn from him? And how do we guard ourselves from false prophets? And why? Uh, why the lion did not eat that the, the man of God? The, the Bible says the lion, there was lion, and uh, uh, that lion did not eat him. So these are the most important questions you should ask yourself and compare that to uh, the book of Numbers chapter 22. Balak sends for Balaam, Balaam, the prophet Balaam. Ba Balaam. Uh, what is, uh, uh, I mean, what's the similarity between Balaam and the uh, old prophet? Why Balaam did not stand, uh, you know, uh, when God told him, what's the problem? What's the problem with him? Why he didn't obey God? What's the reason? He has a reason, but just check it out for yourself and find out. And then why God first told Balaam not to go with the people? He told Balaam, don't go there with these people. And why God also told him to go then? <laughs> This is how what they call it contradictory, but it's not contradictory. Actually, it's a very, very important message, which we are going to learn. Why, why um, God first, why he did ask him not to go, why he told him not to go, and why the second time he asked him to go. And whenever he goes, whenever he went, God's anger kindled against him. Well, what is the problem? Why first he said, don't go, and then... Why the second time say, okay, go. And then when he went, he become, God become mad. God become mad against uh, Balaam. Why? What do you learn from that? Um, so these are uh, very, very critical questions you should ask. And uh, we are going to learn a lot. This is a tra life transforming Bible study that will help you, uh, keep you in the, wa in the word of God and help you uh, to understand a lot of mysteries from the Word of God. Please be ready to open your Bible, the King James Version or the New King James Version, and try to read so that when I do the Bible study, it will be clear for you and uh, you will be able to understand what the, the message of God is. Uh, it's not only this, uh, this part we are going to uh, uh, cover, there are other parts, but these two are the main, the main, the main topics which we are going to deal with. Please study and be strong in the Lord. Thank you. Bye-bye. 1 Kings chapter 13. And behold, a man of God came out of Judah by the word of the Lord to Bethel, and Jeroboam stood by the altar to burn incense. And he cried against the altar in the word of the Lord and said, O altar, altar, thus saith the Lord, behold, a child shall be born to the house of David. Josiah by name, and upon you he shall offer the priests of the high places who burn incense upon you. 
and men's bones shall be burned upon you. And he gave a sign the same day, saying, This is a sign which the Lord has spoken. Behold, the altar shall be torn apart, and the ashes that are upon it shall be poured out. And when King Jeroboam heard the saying of the man of God who had cried against the altar in Bethel, he put his hand from the altar, saying, Lay hold on him. And his hand which he put forth against him dried up so that he could not pull it again to himself. And the altar also was torn apart, and the ashes poured out from the altar, according to the sign which the man of God had given by the word of the Lord. And the king answered and said to the man of God, Seek now the face of the Lord your God, and pray for me, so that my hand may be given back to me again. And the man of God prayed to the Lord, and the king's hand was given back to him again, and became as it was before. And the king said to the man of God, Come home with me and refresh yourself, and I will give you a reward. And the man of God said to the king, If you will give me half your house, I will not go in with you, neither will I eat bread nor drink water in this place. For so was it commanded by me by the word of the Lord, saying, Eat no bread, nor drink water, nor return again by the same way that you came. And so he went another way, and did not return by the way he came to Bethel. Now there lived an old prophet in Bethel, and his sons came and told him all the works that the man of God had done that day in Bethel. The words which he had spoken to the king they also told to their father. And their father said to them, What way did he go? For his sons had seen what way the man of God who came from Judah had gone. And he said to his sons, Saddle me the ass. And so they saddled the ass for him, and he rode on it, and went after the man of God, and found him sitting under an oak. And he said to him, Are you the man of God who came from Judah? And he said, I am. And then he said to him, Come home with me and eat bread. And he said, I will not return with you, nor go in with you, neither will I eat bread nor drink water with you in this place. For it was said to me by the word of the Lord, Ye shall eat no bread nor drink water there, nor turn again to go by the way that you came. And he said to him, I am a prophet also as you are. And an angel spoke to me by the word of the Lord, saying, Bring him back with you into your house, so that he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied to him. And so he went back with him and ate bread in his house and drank water. And as they sat at the table, the word of the Lord came to the prophet who brought him back. And he cried to the man of God who came from Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, because you have not obeyed the mouth of the Lord and have not kept the commandments which the Lord your God commanded you, but came back and have eaten bread and have drunk water in the place which the Lord said to you, Eat no bread and drink no water. Your body shall not come to the tomb of your fathers. And after he had eaten bread and after he had drunk, he saddled the ass for him, for the prophet whom he had brought back, and when he had gone, a lion met him by the way and killed him. And his dead body was thrown in the highway. And the ass stood by it, and the lion also stood by the body. And behold, men passed by and saw the body thrown in the way, and the lion standing by the body. And they came and told it in the city where the old prophet lived. And when the prophet who brought him back from the way heard, he said, It is the man of God who did not obey the word of the Lord. Therefore the Lord has delivered him to the lion, which has torn him and killed him, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke to him. And he spoke to his son, saying, Saddle the ass for me. And they saddled it, and he went out and found his body thrown in the way, and the ass and the lion standing by the body. And the lion had not eaten the body, nor torn the ass. And the prophet took up the dead body of the man of God, and laid it on the ass, and brought it back. And the prophet came to the city to mourn and to bury him. And he laid his body in his own grave. And they mourned over him, saying, Alas, my brother. And after he had buried him, he spoke to his son, saying, When I am dead, then bury me in the tomb in which the man of God is buried. Lay my bones beside his bones. For the saying which he cried by the word of the Lord against the altar in Bethel and against all the houses of the high places which are in the cities of Samaria, shall surely come to pass. And after this thing Jeroboam did not turn from his evil way, but again made priests of the high places from the lowest of the people. He consecrated anyone who asked, 
and he became one of the priests of the high places. And this thing became sin to the house of Jeroboam, even to cut it off and to destroy it from off the face of the earth.